continuing my testing of some of the apples I picked today. We have, let's put them in this order. Um, we have from right to left, we have a Honeycrisp, we have a Shizuka, uh, very similar to a Crispin, also known as a Mutsu. This one had some bug damage up here at the top, so I cut this hole out. It's still not quite yellow. Notice a little yellow where the blush side was. Uh, so it's still green, so it's still not quite ripe, but it is explosively sweet. We have here a Liberty Apple. Took a bite out of that. That's not quite right. And, but I'm testing, going to test the sugar content of these four apples. And this is my unknown tree. Look at that big apple. I don't know what that is. Uh, that characteristic though, those tall shoulders, I should be able to find that in the book. But that's a little taller than it is wide. And that's probably close to a 14 to 16 ounce apple, I would think. Or was before I took a couple big bites out of it. Okay, let's test the sugar content. Uh, I've done this before. I won't do it on video, but with a refractometer. Put a drop of juice here in the slide, close the lid, look through the end, and read it. And I'll update you with the results. Okay, the results are as follows. The Honeycrisp at 13.2. The Shizuka at 15.5 bricks and still not quite ripe. The Liberty at 13.0 and the Unknown at 12.4 and the most unripe of, of all of them. Okay. Uh, Honey Crisp could have hung on a tree a little bit longer. I'll be testing those later. And these are all be tested later. Okay, but that's what they are. This is September 27th, I believe, uh, 2011. And as a comparison, Jones Pure Cane Sugar Soda, Fufu Berry Flavored, 10.2 bricks.